Hello and welcome to my Carnivores 2 rigging tutorial. I'm going to try and keep this as short and precise as possible, so let's get right into it. First off, you're going to change your screen to 16-bit color mode, just like that. Next, you're going to want to change Designer 2 to Windows 98 compatibility. Now we'll go ahead and get that launched and open up our model. Okay, we'll go ahead and start off with uh, camera controls. Hold Alt and left click to go into sort of camera pan mode. Hold Shift while in that to zoom in and let go. Go back to panning. Left click to leave that. Works about the same in the perspective camera. Hold Alt, left click. You can look around. Hold Alt to pan and Shift to zoom. Left click to let go. You can also use these buttons here to change the camera angles. You can use these to change it to solid or put a wireframe on it. You can also enable this bones display. So we'll leave it at that. Okay, so next up is tools. Uh, the most important one is the move tool. You can use it to move around vertices, bones, and things you've selected. So just left click, you know, drag, left click again to drop it. And you can also right click to cancel the movement. And if you press tab, you can change the axis that it moves on. Uh, this is the rotational tool. Probably won't need it much, but it's that. This is a scaling on a two-dimensional level. This is scaling on a three-dimensional level. And there's a few other tools that you won't really need. I don't really know what they do either. So then you have the face selection tool, the vertice selection tool, and the object selection tool. There's an object right there, also known as bones. So, if you select some vertices, you can hold shift when you click and you'll deselect them. So, you'll be doing that a lot. Okay, the bones. You always start with one bone down here and all the vertices will be attached to it. You can tell which vertices are attached to an active bone by pressing this button right here and they'll be red. And you can tell which bone is active because it will be red and they are normally blue. So we'll go ahead and create another bone by pressing this object button up here. We'll just call it body. And it'll spawn in the center right here. So we just drag it up with the move tool. And we'll use the vertex selection tool. We'll just go ahead and select the whole thing. And we're going to click this owner button right here and then click on the bone. Now all those vertices will be attached to that bone. We also still have all the vertices selected though. Rather than deselecting them with the vertex selection tool like that, what I usually do is I just drag it real quick and then press undo and that'll deselect them a little quicker. So I'll go ahead and create another object. I'll call this one tail one. Drag it up there. Go ahead and start selecting the tail. Okay, now that's attached to the tail. Go ahead and create one more. Just add one more. Okay, so now we're going to want to link all of these bones together. So first we'll go up into the options right here and we'll make sure these are checked. Next we're going to go to the objects manager and we're just going to click link and then click on the next part. I'm just going to keep doing that. And you want to always make sure that all your bones are connected to bone number zero.
Okay, now you can see if, as we rotate these, they're all linked together. Okay, we'll go ahead and create the leg now. So I'll call this one right leg one. Go ahead and drag it up here. And try it. to the left. Make sure it's actually inside the leg. Now you just zoom in. Now you're going to want to go to this side and deselect everything on that side so you just have that one portion of the leg. And set owner. So now let's do the other part of it. Now, if you do what I just did and end up leaving part of the bone just in the center there, or if you need to move the bone afterwards, you can press the objects tool right here, just select it, and you'll be able to move the bone without moving the vertices that are attached to it. So, and then you just deselect it. So, we're just going to keep doing that until we finish the whole leg. Okay, we should have all the bones properly connected to the legs now. So, go ahead and start linking them together. And I always link my legs to bone number zero instead of the body, since I like to have them moving independently. So now you can see we can rotate the body and that leg will stay where it is. And you can also Move it around just fine. And so now we're just going to have to repeat that for the whole model. And that's pretty much it. Since I've made some progress on this, I'm going to go ahead and save it since Designer 2 will crash sometimes. So always make sure you save it as old file 16-bit texture and when you save it always mirrors everything on the x-axis so you can see this bone is right here right now if we open up the file that we just saved it will be on this side now so I don't know why it does that it's kind of annoying but if it does if I need to open the saved file again then I save it a second time and then open it again and it will have been mirrored again and be back in its original position so something to keep in mind okay so I finished rigging up the rest of the model and as you can see it's got a pretty decent skeleton built up you can see 
I can rotate this main body bit right here. I can rotate the tail around. I can rotate each leg. Each arm. Rotate the head, the necks, the jaw, all that good stuff. Added the chest right here so you can make the breathing animation for when it sleeps. And this right here is the uh, sort of tree of how they're all linked together. So you can see how it's connect the legs to bone number zero. Then I connect tail parts to body, connect all of these ones here to the body, and I'll connect the arms to this part of the back too. So that's pretty much it, and you'll probably just need to make some adjustments here and there once you actually start trying to animate it just to make sure everything moves correctly and doesn't overlap as you're doing the animating. So, do the animating tutorial next.